Hello everyone, it's Paula. <clears throat> and today I'm here with my uh, second Christmas book. The other one is Santa's Toy Shop, I believe. It's in my shop, but this one is pretty special. This is the Christmas Donkey. You guys remember that little movie that came out that was so precious. This is the spine. It's got three signatures. And it's got silver here and spe specks of silver. It's got kind of a glittery spine. And a beautiful cover that's in really good condition. The Christmas Donkey. So, this has 160 pages and three signatures. And I haven't done anything to it yet. So, this book is Great December Daily. Okay? Now, I want you to know that this year, I'm not going crazy on decorating. Because really... That is what you guys need to do with your December daily. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm putting stuff in here. You know, I can't do a book that I don't just take over. <laughs> I try not to, but it's hard sometimes. But just so you know, I am going to decorate some. But it's not going to be so full of stuff that it won't close. And I forgot to get a library pocket but I can do that later that's no biggie so this book um I did with angels angels and nativity and that sort of thing so it does have the full book inside the first and second signature I believe it's the first and second signature I can never remember. I change things so often. Yes. Okay. And the third one's kind of a recap. <laughs> so this is the paper. It's Graphic 45. And I believe it's just called Angels. Um, and it's a couple years old. So I don't know if you can find it anymore. If you can get lucky and find it, it's beautiful paper. I only had three different sheets left and so I made it well actually I had six maybe five I don't know you'll see when if you purchase the book now I did do some stitching in baby blue in this book um right here it's got some extra po it's got six extra pockets because when I do the little golden books I don't want to not be able to include, you know, this the whole story. I don't want to fold it or I don't want to fold it out here or anything. So, uh, and I've showed you how to do that before where you uh, take a piece of tea stain paper and how you, you do this little... I can't show you because it's all mixed up, but uh, I'm going to take these little numbers off because I always keep track of the numbers because once you take a little golden book apart, if you don't write the numbers on each page, they don't number them, and it can end up being super confusing. That was what happened to me the first time, and I still write numbers on it because... I mean, you can go back and read the story and keep it in line, but still, it's going to be confusing even then. So, always number your pages. And you want to go back and forth and make sure you're actually putting them in each signature in the right order. And so, you put um, the first three in. Uh, how I do it is I put the first three in in my first signature and the second three. Or you can do two, two, and two. But I had already put this together, or the signatures together, and then I decided, I think I wanna add a third signature. 
so you write very lightly so it erases very easy. I'm kind of letting you see a few things as it goes by. See, like, this is part of what I do here is I add these pockets. And, um, yeah, and then tea stain paper. And then when you get on the other side, you have the full sheet of tea stain paper. So, as soon as I erase these, uh, I'm not going to do a flip through right now because, you know, it's not time. It's close. We're going to decorate a little bit, and then it's going to go in my shop. So, I will do a flip through. I'm... I'm needing to get all these made, and so I don't have time to do every single thing on camera, but I think so many of you have watched me do that for some time now, so. Um, so, I hope all of you are having a wonderful fall day. Here in Branson, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Uh, here is the end of the first signature, and this is the second page, which is a beautiful page as well. Um, anyway, we're having a beautiful fall day. Just stood at the kitchen window this morning and watched two female deers eating some corn out of our yard that we had tossed out, and and it was actually corn like you make um, hot packs with. So it wasn't like real corn. <laughs> Just the kind. I mean, it's edible. It's a feed that you get at the feed shop. But anyway, so I got everything together. I put a couple doilies. Each signature has a, um, a playing card or a, a Christmas card nativity type card in it and has envelopes music sheets like i said three different ones i didn't put a lot of junk paper in here because i did use several different digitals and some different uh, writing paper and so all i can say about this book is it's stunning Okay, it is very beautiful inside, and I could not tell you whose digital I used or anything, because I hadn't had a chance to investigate it. So, I'll have to figure that all out if necessary. Okay, so, this is, um, I know there's a couple of Artie Mays papers in here, but this isn't primarily hers. And there's envelopes and all of that. So you're gonna have a lot in this book to keep a great December daily going. And listed more pages than you'll ever need, but you can add pictures. You can write all your Christmas experiences in there. And yeah, so, it, you know, it's a, definitely a pretty book. It's got peaches and blues and pinks. And of course, I added whatever color would go with whatever I was doing. So I've got to put a couple different angel charms in here here's the third page and it's just beautiful and i actually uh had an extra one of those and i um okay that's all of the story so i got that all erased now just for the record um i um i'm trying to think of what i was gonna say well, I'll show you. I have these cute little angels that I stamped and then I just colored in with some Copics type markers. So I have one who's got its eyes closed and one who has its eyes open. Now, I did stamp a few of them on here to kind of give you an example, but I'm going to put some of these throughout the book. So they're not in there now, but 
I just wanted you to see that so you would know that those are going to be in there as well. And I've um, cut out some digitals from Taylor Made Crafts, um, some of her pictures and some of her Christmas images. So I'm going to move the book over for now and bring out a few things I thought we could make together. Now, this is not my idea what I'm about to do. I saw Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures do this project. And this is the first time I've done it. So I made one quite a while ago. <laughs> so now I get to figure out how am I gonna make this again? So I'm just gonna, I drew a line where I wanted to cut it and I'm gonna tell you what that is. Um, I think, I think it pretty much was in half. Well, I did uh, four and three fourths because I'm only gonna make one. So um, yeah, I think. <laughs> I think, I hope, I can't remember. Now, I'm thinking that I used a smaller, maybe not. I think I used a large and a small envelope, which I don't have any small envelopes. So, I think I had to just kind of do what I could. But if you have a large and a small, you get this little fold out. You can do it on either side. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to refer you to Wendy's Journal Adventures to watch the tutorial on how to make this. Okay, and I'm going to make a note to myself to remember to do that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put Wendy's link to that video uh, for you to watch. Okay, if you want to see how to make these, since I'm out of small envelopes. Okay, now, I am going to put it together. I've inked everything, but I'm going to put it together with you so we can... Uh, do it together. Let me make sure my setup is so different that I have to get accustomed to how it is. Okay, so you, of course, want to turn the back to the back, and this is going to be one that you would put on the right side of your book pages. So, when you open it up, you're going to put it over here in that corner. So, like this, let me show you. You want to take it and put it like that. Now, if you don't want to do behind it, you don't have to. Now, I have not punched my circles yet. I want to get my paper on first. Now, I'm not necessarily going to put these in the book today. I thought we could just, I might. It depends on how much time we've got. So, I took a scrap piece of paper and... I'm going to cover the large part here, okay? And I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. Just make sure you get your edges down. And, you know, that's kind of how I am about everything I do. And then you can just put a couple little swipes there. And you want to line it up with the edge of the envelope on the inside and at the bottom so you know it will end up straight. And you wanna make sure this page can still bend over, okay? Now, <clears throat> yeah, this was a fun little project. And I may do a video on these at some point, but not today. So, this one, when you put it on, it ends up not having, it's the down part, and you have to put your flap around, see? So, this is all the same envelope right here, and when you watch the video, she'll explain it. Now, we want to put paper here, but you could do it just as a side tuck. 
I am going to put paper there. But you can do it either way. And I'm going to put these angels on here. But you do not glue right here, okay? Because you need that to go down. So you want to put your glue here on this section and one line right down the, the side. Okay, so I'm going to show you. We're going to go straight down this side. This allows you to have it be a pocket. Now see, these are going to, this part is going to glue to our paper. Okay. All right, so now when I glue it, or when I put it down, you're going to see what I mean. It's You want to make sure it attaches to that part that you just put the glue straight down on, okay? And then line it up right there. And I might have cut it a little short, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's homemade. That's what makes it fun. Now, as soon as I get this page covered, then we'll go through, and I can see my edge a little bit right there, so I'm just going to come in here. I must have cut it a little long. I come in here and just cut it off like that. I kind of got crooked right there, so let me straighten it up. There you go. And we can just ink back over that. Okay, now that's the inside. So now we're going to do the outside. <clears throat> okay, now this is um, the other side of the angels. Just has different words. And we're going to glue that down. You glue the whole thing down on this one. The reason we didn't on the other was because we were making a pocket, right? Just got glue all over me. Okay, now I'm just going to line it up here at the edge. And I probably am going to have to trim this one too. I imagine, let me get this glue off. Yep, I'll float it off on my paper. Okay, now we're not covering this because this is the part that will glue down to the book. But I'm looking here and I can still see that we need to trim that back one off also. So I'm just gonna do it the very same way. Try not to cut into your envelope. Just cut off the portion that's sticking up. Give it a little bit of ink. And that's, it's covered. I mean, that thing is covered. Now, I'm going to start inside. First, let me punch holes. I'm just going to use a small one inch. Hopefully, I can get inside here where you can see. Just want to make sure it's centered. Uh, that's close enough. Okay, and you want to ink that after you do it. And look, see, you can see the back. I'm going to show you how to fix that too. But I'm going to punch them both first. Okay, now I'm going to punch... Which side do I want to punch? <laughs> I think I think I'm going to punch both of these. And it will be harder. Maybe. <laughs> My punch doesn't like it. Yep, I'm going to have to do it separate because it doesn't like it. It's 
It's a crybaby. Now what happened? Okay. Start to say it won't open. Why is it not opening? Okay, now let's see if I can get in here. Let's do it like this. Let's do the back one first. They should they should be in the same spot, but there's no promises. Now, I may have should have done this ahead of time because I'm going to I can't get in there. Oh, I know how I can do this. You do it from the opposite side. Let's do it like this, right? Yay! Just gotta think, Paula. You gotta think. Okay, and now you flip it the other way. Get, get your little punch down in there. And I can kind of see where I almost punched it from the front. So that's close enough. Ah, okay. Now, if you want to cover inside where the, um, the little holes are, you can. I wasn't perfect. I didn't do it perfect. Look at that. Dang it. Sometimes it just doesn't turn out perfect. But I'm going to try to kind of hit it again a little bit. Okay. It's just going to be over on this one side, so I shouldn't have any trouble punching it. <laughs> there we go. All right, moving along. Um, we won't have to do anything to this one because, you know, we punched on both sides. Now, if you want to add a scrap of paper, let me find it here, if I can. Okay, if you want to add a scrap of paper down in here, you just cut. Just cut it across, okay? Just enough that you can glue it down in there and cover that up. But you got to remember, you want to do it where this will fit inside. The reason is because if you open it, and you'll be able to see all of the white or blue or whatever if you don't do it like that. I don't, you know what? I think it looked better with the same color, don't you? Let me see if I have some scraps. Yep, I do. And probably the perfect scrap. <laughs> it's already cut. So let's see if it goes in there. Nope, not, not wanting to. So I'm just going to hand cut this. And then cut some off. That should be enough. Nope. A little bit more. Now we're going to cover the back of this. I don't want it to... Um, if you hear any hammering or something that smells like... Or smells. Sounds like... Don't ask me why I said that. Um, like you're hearing someone working, it's that's what's happening. My husband's finishing up our closet. Listen, we're redoing our whole house pretty much. We're redoing the staircase. The outside is exactly how we want it. We're, we did replace the outside lights. We're going to have it... Um, we're going to have it power washed because it's white siding and um so yeah we'll do that part so now you have a good background here that doesn't look like we did anything right and then here we go so let's do the front first i'm going to put some of this i don't even know what it's called guys um it, i never saw the name it was laying on a desk it was laying on the cutting table at Joann's and my friend at our Walmart, our Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure which. And we, my friend and I, thought, well, that would be cool. 
you know, to put behind whatever. So I'm going to smear some of this right here. Kind of hold this in place. Now I'll tell you, this is not going to be perfect. I'm just putting it on here as a square. And I'm not trying to make it perfect. And just so you know too, I'm putting a little set of angel girls. Aren't they cute? Now you can angle them. Or you can do them straight. And I'm just going to do them straight because I don't want it sticking out and getting bent and so forth. So, just get the corners. Now, I did make numbers for this book. So you can number your days. Uh, I think I did that at the end of the, the first video where I introduced you to this book. And that was as we were cutting the papers. So yeah, there's the little front, which I think that's cute. I might put a little bit of something right here. Um, then over here, I'm just going to put a piece of blue, kind of sky-like paper right there. And then we're going to add another angel, a couple little angels, or one angel. I can't remember how many is on there. If something's not right with my cameras or anything you guys let me know because I'm still working out the kinks and honestly be because we just moved in I just am not having much time to do anything and so I'm trying to work some books in and uh, you know we want to get a lot of things done before that we need to get done before winter and um yeah, besides just sitting and looking at the beautiful deer and everything else that we've had. We could just sit on the porch. We got two rockers, you guys. Oh, my goodness. We're officially retired. We got two rockers. Two white, ro white rockers with a little white table for the front porch to go with my two wicker chairs that are out there. Now we're gonna do these little angels. And you know, I was gonna offset them a little bit and I think I still am. Um, anyway, so we've had early mornings. You can sit out there and the deer just crossed the road or whatever, you know, like they were in our backyard this morning. Now we've had three or four days where we don't see them sometimes. And I'm sure that'll get more often as it gets colder. I don't know how deers work. <laughs> I don't know what they like to do and don't like to do. So this is just a way to decorate this page. Now I'm gonna get some, gotta grab my white. That's not the right lace, but we'll use it. Okay, this is kind of a, it's like, I think more like cotton lace than anything. But yeah, it's a, uh, just gonna put a little piece across the bottom, just because. And then we'll put a little piece across the bottom on the other picture. Just to decorate, give it a little bit of something. Let's see which side's the, the main side. There we go. So my husband did our closet like the first day or two we were here. But all of our clothes don't fit in the closet. Isn't that lovely? So we had to go back and get some more shelving to put. See, because I actually have the master bedroom in my is where my craft room is. 
I think I've told you guys this. And, um, oh, that got sticky. I'm going to have to let that dry before I close this. But it will end up being a little bit decorated. There we go. We cut this other one. Okay. So I'm trying to use lace in this one. You know, just a lot of pinks and whatever color hits me at the moment. I got strings hanging off of me where I've got glue on me. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, now. Let's do it like that. Now this one's gonna be wet too, so we're gonna have to let this dry. But I'm gonna show you, I'm probably either gonna put more little pictures in it or leave it blank for you to decorate or put whatever you want in there. So this is this portion. Now, I'm thinking, do I want a flower right in here? I kind of like that. There's not any leaves on this one though. I have a couple without leaves and I just don't want it to be super bulky. Now, you know what I just did, and I'm going to take it off while I'm thinking about it. I can't put those inside there because they're sticking to me. I can't put them inside there because um, it'll cause too much bulk. But I'm trying to think what I could put there instead. That's kind of flat, you know. Let's see what I have in here. I have some little teeny tiny bows. Let's see if they will work. Not these big ones, but these little flat ones. Now they have pearls on them, but I'm thinking if I take the pearl off, they won't be as bulky, right? So let's see if I can do that without tearing up the whole little bow. It stayed together. And I'm kind of going to put it where the wetness already is. Now, how cute is that? Isn't that cute? So, that's the front. Now, do we want to put a bow inside? I don't know if it will close if we do that. So, we better not. But that's how the front will look. And then we can put tags or whatever inside the book. Now we need to let that dry and I'm gonna stand it up over here where it's not causing any problems. And now let's make some tags. Let me get a wipey for my hands. My hands are super messy. I've been working on stuff all morning. I got glue everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe this off so we don't get everything wet, but it's better than getting it all covered in glue. Okay, now um, I cut out images, like the little images you saw on the pocket I just did were tailor-made crafts. I'll link her below. Let me write that on my paper. What'd I do with my paper? Okay. All right, and then I said Artie Mays. Okay, and then I'll have to figure out the rest of them. I have it somewhere. All right, so we're gonna do an envelope with one of these little images from Tailor Made Crafts. Now, these are not the same purples. This is maroon, and this is purple. But I I decided I might want to see what that looks like together. If not, I've got pink and I've got other colors. But this is a tea-stained envelope. 
and I thought it would just be really pretty. Let me see which side is right. Okay, here it is. To put this lace on here at the top. And I'm leaving it hanging off so we have room to, to move it around. Now, of course, this is not going to be the easiest thing to stick down, right? So I'm going to use some glue stick. And... And I'm just going to run the glue stick over the envelope pretty heavy because we know it's going to cover this whole spot. Now, this is Yoohoo glue, and this stuff is strong. So if you don't want it to stick, don't use it. <laughs> if you want it to stick, you need to use it. Okay, so I don't think we need to add any other glue except maybe on the uh, the bottom of it here. Let me pull this off. Now, let's see how much of it needs it down here. See, there's some that's not stuck at the bottom because... So, when you set down to do ephemera and stuff like this, you don't really have to have much of a plan. Yes, it does help, like in this situation, to have some lace and um, different things. Like I lay out a bunch of tea stain envelopes and tags and just different little things, index cards or whatever. And then I, uh, like I'm going to go ahead and trim this. I'm flipping it over to trim it. And you know, there's so many, many things, many, many things that you can do with book pages. I like to make my pouches, you know, I do that a lot, but there's other things. Now this is getting glue on my sewing scissor. Let me wipe that off. If I hadn't used my sewing stitches just then, my other scissors will not cut fabric. So I'm, I've got them on a wish list for Christmas, the ones I want. <laughs> Told my sister, I want the most expensive pair. I just want to know that they're going to cut. Okay, I'm going to pull this off for now. <clears throat> so, anyway. So, this is how this is going to go. And it will go over a page, okay? So, yes, it's very wet right now. Now, I'm not going to use the glue stick on the angel. Now, this angel's dressed up for the winter. And she's got a bell, and she's ringing it. I think we all think we have angels at our house, don't we? Children that are angels. My are grandchildren. My children are angels, too. But this is definitely... Okay, so, just a little tidbit of what's been going on with me. Of course, we're starting this evening. I've already laid out my arrangements for things that, that's going to go on some of the walls. Last night, we hung stuff in the downstairs, or the main level bath. And, um, and my husband got one thing too high. But we're going to remodel that room. So I told him... You know, we've already put in the new toilet and the new shower head, but we're going to, we have a tub shower unit. This house was, is 28 years old, as I told you, so it doesn't have anything very modern. I'll put it that way. So, like we're going to redo the whole staircase. I'm sure it's going to cost a fortune. We got an estimate on the deck because we were told by the inspector the deck had to be replaced because it was not in code with what's required. <laughs> Get this. They had nailed, big nails, not bolted, but nailed the deck to the house. You heard me. And they had only used four by four post. Yes, and the law requires six by six. So he told us he wouldn't go out there on the deck if, he, if, it, if it were him. <laughs> Isn't that a comforting thing to be told by someone? So my husband had a, a, a guy come out 
he's getting like three or four estimates, but he had, the first guy came out yesterday. And we, we want to enlarge it a little bit. So we're expecting that, you know, it's going to have to be bigger. So anyway, um, this guy gave us an estimate of $26,000 to tear it down and to build a new one up to code. It, don't you love when someone says, oh, it's going to be 26000 I about fell over when my husband came upstairs and told me, I cannot get this to tie a bow. So we're going to tie a knot. Um, my bow skills are not what they used to be. That's because of my hands. But that's all right. So I'm thinking maybe put it right here or put it up here. I don't know. We'll just play with it. We'll play with it, but I got to cut cut some of this off first. And then I'll get a glue I'll get a uh, a glue dot. Oh, that's still a little big. Here we go. Now I'm thinking, do we want it or do we not want it? I don't know. But I'm going to do it because I made it. And I do think it looks cute. So, would I recommend this color? Probably not. But I like the contrast. And I know some people would be like, you like the contrast? I really do, but I want to put it up here instead. I think it looks better there. And I just used a glue dot to do that. Now, we're going to do an index card that's been, um, been uh, tea stained. And we're going to put it inside, okay? Right inside here. But... Some of my envelope is coming apart, so we got to fix that. That happens when you tea stain. I'm sure you all know that. Yeah, you can always count on it coming apart or causing trouble. Causing trouble. Okay, now let that dry. Make sure you didn't get a bunch of glue inside. I did. I'm rolling it off. It'll come right out of there. It's not that much. So what I thought was there we go. I could have done this up like a um, I don't like that. I'm going to get a different one. That one's kind of stained. Not in the most beautiful way. Let's see, what do I want to put inside? Maybe instead of doing that, I can put a journaling card inside. Let me get an angel. Where are my angel journaling cards at? It's like they just disappeared. Where are they? Oh, right in front of me. Right in front of me. So I'm trying to think which one of these would look the prettiest in with that color. Well, we'll just go with that one. Now, we do have to ink it. Ink it up. Now, on the back, I will add some. I'm not going to do it right now. But I will add some tea stain paper to the back. And sometimes when I do that, I will stitch also. I'm not going to do it on camera because I think you guys all know how to glue... Um, some tea stain on, right? Tea stain paper on it. So, yeah, because see, although that candle paper is so pretty, there is some of that in the book as well. Now, I'm going to set this over here to dry, and then I'm going to also put tea stain paper on this 
after the fact, but we gotta wait on it to dry. Okay, so that's two projects. These are not hard projects. I just thought I'd come on and we could visit while I, I thought I inked all of these, but I missed one, it looks like. So with these angels, I decided to put a piece of ribbon of either lavender blue or pink on, on these, or white. You can go white, you can always go white. But I decided that um, on these tea stain tags, I would put some ribbon. Ribbon, lace, whatever. And this is, I got this at, I don't know where I got it. <laughs> Let me think. Hope I didn't just cut off any excess I had, but it looks shabby right there. I don't remember where I got this, but I am gonna tell you, uh, it's either, um, what is the name of her place? Um, Tattered Dream. Denise over at the Tattered Dream. I knew it would come out in a minute. And then I randomly order from other people too. And I'm terrible at remembering who I got what from. I'm just going to be very honest. I don't know. So I'm gonna attach it here at the top and then just rub down through it. I try not to go crazy with the glue. I just got some brown on there. Make sure your hands are clean because you know what happens when they're not. You leave little fingerprints everywhere. So I'm gonna cut this one because there's no glue on it. I'm gonna use these. Okay. Now, this is another Tailor Made Crafts Angel. And I'm just gonna kinda try to hit the skinny parts, the little pieces like this that just kinda come to a tip and you want to make sure because those will just come up. I just got that glue all over my hands. Isn't that lovely? I'm holding it right in front of me instead of where you guys can see. I apologize. I told you I'm I'm uh, in a whole different situation and it's I got to learn it all all over again. So tell me, what do you guys think about? Uh making cards and doing Stampin' Up. Because, I ask you that because I am going, I may change my channel, don't freak out, to actually do cards and other crafts. I may be a crafting channel and I tell you the reason that I'm thinking this. Is first of all, there's so many journal channels. And I just, you know, I don't feel like, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I will still be on my design teams. I will still do things, you know, that way. And I'll still do journals. I just want to do a variety. And I also want to do some Stampin' Up. I love Stampin' Up. And, um, and people can get product from me if, if they, they like it. Like two, let me get some pink. Um, I thought I laid out some pink ribbon for this. Our, our, something to top this with. I'll put it that way. Here's some pink. So, um, this is all wrinkled, and so I'm going to make it look nicer, hopefully, than it does. Okay. 
so I'm thinking about um, demonstrating with Stampin' Up! And um, I'll go ahead and become a demonstrator. And I love making cards. And I, I'll just be honest. I, um, I don't feel like with the economy like it is, people can afford, as many people can afford journals. And, you know, I charge a certain price for everything. And I'm not out to make a killing. I'll just be honest. I never have profited. <laughs> There's no profit going on here. Um, I charge 85 for my little golden books. And I charge 95 for any other style that is, um, how do I put this? Any style that is, that where I have to cover the book or operate on the book or, you know, other things. I want to make more attaches. Uh, you know, I loved making those. I want to make more of those. And I just am feeling burnt out. I have been for a while. And like, I want to make some Christmas tags and I want to, uh, you know, not, not, uh, this type of tag, but well, it is this type of tag, but you can put it on your packages. I want to do some Christmas projects. I have a Chris, a, two Christmas projects I want to do. And so, you know, I have all those things. I don't like that tied. So I guess what I'll do is just make them shorter because I don't like the way that looks. I will always do great, good quality as far as my journals go. I take pride in them. And I feel like my journals, I have my own style and it's not like most people. And I don't know if maybe that deters people from coming to my channel. But I feel like uh, after two years, you know, I should have grown more by now. But I love my peeps. I love all of you guys. And I love hearing from you. I don't hear from very many people anymore. And so, I feel like if I'm going to do videos, I should do videos that I enjoy. And so, uh, once the Christmas season is over, and maybe some during the Christmas season... I'm not going to do the Stampin' Up! probably right away, but um, I am going to be going in that direction, just so you know. Look how cute she turned out. Can you guys see okay? Yeah. So, I think she turned out really pretty. This is my favorite so far. So, she needs to go over to the drying section. Okay, now, this little angel is a different style. And so I'm using one of Tracy Fox's tags. It's so funny because uh, this was in all of my stuff and I just love this tag. And I like to cover up and do different things with it whenever I'm not putting it in a design team project. But I have put it in a lot of projects. <laughs> um, and that's okay what makes it fun when you get digitals to change them up a little bit. So this is more of a peachy pink and I've decided I'm going to put it on this right side just like I did the other one. It's okay if they're both on the right side, right? I'm going to run it like this. I want it to hang off a little bit, I think. And I'm going to go like this. And I think I'm just going to leave a little bit of the edge hanging off the side of the tag. Because I don't want it to be difficult for whoever um, ends up with this book. I don't want it to be difficult to put the tag in the pocket. You know what I mean? That would make it hard. Mm. 
Okay. Every time I cut a little bit, I think I'm getting a snippet, right? Okay. So now I'm going to glue this little girl angel on there. So I need to keep track of time probably, don't I? And my videos are not going to be as long uh, when I do some of the projects. And some of them will take longer. I'm not going to really be all crazy about that part of it. So we'll see how it goes. And I'd really love your opinion. But, you know, I was a crafter before I was anything else, and I miss it, and I have projects just lining up, and I can't seem to get them done. Like, I like to make albums, and I like to scrapbook my grandkids. I love to make cards, and I love mixed media. So, you know, I'm kind of not um, looking at the whole... Um, how do I say it? It's not going to be just one thing. It's my goal. But whichever one I enjoy the most, it could end up being that. So if I decide that I don't like doing multiple crafts, then I'll just do stamping or whatever, you know. So, and if you like stamping up, and who doesn't, right? Um, you'll be able to order it from me. And it'll come right to your house. I used to sell Creative Memories many years ago. And did well. I did well doing that. But um, I'm not as, you know, they went out of business for the longest time and now they've come back and there's new owners and all of that they i guess sold their franchise and um look how cute now she could have a bow or something couldn't she let me see what i got in my my scraps here maybe we'll put a couple little of uh, maybe we'll put a little pink flower or something on there with her Oh, I have these little cute. I have several different things in here. Let's look at some of these. Because she is in pink, right? Or, hmm. I also have white. That's cream. Here's white. Let's put a couple white ones. These white ones are pretty pitiful. Let me get a better one on this end. And anyway, give me your feedback. Um, I don't know of any woman, really, honestly. I can't think of a woman that I know that doesn't like a variety of crafts. And... I might even show my face some. <laughs> I don't know. My friend says I have to. I'm not into being the center of attention. That looks cute with just a little added flower there. What do you think? Okay. Now, um, yeah. Okay, so that's number four, and we are out of time. So, I hope you had fun today, and uh, the next time you see this book, it'll be for a flip through, and then we're going to move on to our next book, which is going to be a cardinal book. So, the cover is going to be a cardinal fabric, and there's all kind of cardinal going on in this next book. I may do I may do one more video of this one decorating it. I'm just going to have to see. But I will talk to you in the next video. Leave your comments and let me know what you think.
I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.